Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, this is a massive eruption uh, on the sun, a solar flare uh, of biblical proportions, you could say, if it was a direct, directly released toward the earth. The good news is it was released on the backside of the sun as a sun. So with that said, uh, the sunspot located just behind the sun's northeastern limb exploded yesterday, September the 1st, 2014. Uh, suspicious Observer has already done a great report on that. Uh, it, re it produced a significant uh, solar flare, according to NOAA and their analysts. Now, NASA's Stereo B spacecraft stationed over the far side of the sun, recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash. Uh, this fast CME emerged from the blast site, traveling approximately 2,000 kilometers, uh, another, or in other words, 4.5 million miles per hour. Now, the flare also produced strong radio bursts and a far-side solar proton storm. Only the intervening limb of the sun prevented the Earth the effects. We can thank God for that. When the flare occurred on the Earth's side of the sun, we classify them according to their X-ray intensity. C being weak, M being medium, X being strong. Now, the, for, the far-side explosions, however cannot be precisely classified because none of the spacecraft stationed over the far side of the sun are equipped with X-ray sensors. Based on the appearance, though, of the flare at UV wavelengths, plus other factors such as the CME and radiation storm, we would guess that this was a strong M or X-class event. Folks, I can again, we don't know. But this was a significant eruption. And I would dare to say that it was much, much. It was no M class, but it was certainly an X class. And the question is, just how strong of an X class was this? Well, good news is it was on the far side of the sun. But the Earth is going to experience the fallout from these CMEs. There's no question. We will, even though it was not directed toward us. It's just too massive of an event. Look for that pressure to affect the earth. And again, applying pressure to the tectonic plates and, uh, and some of the volcanoes, which could create very strong, powerful earthquakes and or tsunamis and or some volcanic activity which could erupt and you got to think immediately about Iceland you got to think about that volcano in Papua New Guinea and several others Ecuador and other places Nicaragua other I mean a lot of places where there is Hawaii where there is significant volcanoes itching to just go off and also don't forget Yellowstone whatever you do but the good news is it was on the far side, but still, we will be affected. It was enormous, and you can see it right there in the picture, how powerful, uh, how enormous this thing is as it, as it erupted from the sun's surface. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Something biblical. You know what the Bible says? In, uh, in the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, For there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and distress of nations. Have you ever seen such distress in your life as we have right now? Distress of nations with perplexity, and the sea, and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. Are you saved? Are you born again? Because Christ is coming. We don't know the day. We don't know the hour. Not even the angels in heaven. Not even the Son of God. Only the Father. But we know Christ is coming. He's coming for the redeemed of God. Will you be ready? Will you be going with the Lord? Or will you be left behind? 
give your life to Jesus Christ.